Hey everyone, we are back with another tutorial. Today we'll work end to end on a simple leaderboard backend using Express.js and MongoDB. And then I'll show you how you can integrate that into Unity. So let's get started. We start off with an empty project and I'll initialize it using npm init hyphen y. The hyphen y at the end just fills in all the fields with default values so I don't have to worry about it. After that, I need to install Express which handles the server and Mongoose, which is the MongoDB ORM. I'm also going to install .env so I can use environment variables in my project. After that, in my index.js, I need to set up a basic boilerplate for Express.js. I could probably use templates during installation, but Copilot does the same thing pretty well for me. I just put in the prompt for it and it sets up a basic Express app and that's it. After that, I'm going to go ahead and add some middleware that parses the request data for us. We also need to set up the code to connect to our database. I like to make a new config directory for all the configuration and connection code. We have exported our connect db method and can now import this in index.js and call this function. Now let's try and run index.js using node. Watch flag here ensures that any changes are watched and the server is restarted whenever we save any changes which is super useful for development. Okay, so we have an error and that's because we haven't added Mongo URI to our environment variables. And when our code tries to pull that, it's an empty string and it doesn't know what to connect to. You can see I have MongoDB Compass installed which is super useful tool for development and debugging. Link for it will be in the description. I'm going to try and run the server again after putting in the URI and there's no error. Another thing that you need to do is run an instance of MongoDB on your system. You could connect to MongoDB Atlas directly but I prefer debugging with a local instance. For some reason though my local instance is just not working and I had to stop and restart the process. I'll drop the link to the official docs in the description but they're pretty good and take you through step by step on how you can run MongoDB locally. We are back and we are connected to MongoDB. Now we need to create schemas for the data we are trying to save. I'll create a new folder called models and inside it create a new file. We start by importing mongoose and then we can see the copilot suggesting us a schema. There is name, score and date in it. With date, you can see the default value is date.now which is what's used if we don't pass the date field while creating a new object which is super convenient. Now we can export this and use it in our APIs. Let's start by creating a post request at route slash API slash leaderboard. And this should take name and score in the request body. Copilot is suggesting the rest of the code which looks alright so let's accept that and go through the code. First we create a new leaderboard object with name and score and then save it. After that we return the object as the response to the request. This whole section is encapsulated by a try catch block which basically ensures that any error in this process is handled and doesn't break our server. We can test our API using Postman. If you haven't used it before, then try it out. I'll drop the link in the description. I'm making a post request here to the local host, which is where our server is currently hosted. In the body, we have put in the two required fields. So let's try and send the request. Okay, so the issue is we haven't passed URL encoded form data, which is what we are passing here. So all we need to do is add another middleware and we should be good to go. There we go. Our request went through and we got the response from the server. Now we need to get the leaderboard data. We go back to index.js and add a get request at the same route. This time we don't need any additional info in the request since all we need is top 10 entries by score. Again, Copilot just completes our code but let's take a moment to go through it. We start by finding entries. Since this is a blank find, it would return all the entries in our database. Next, we sort that in descending order by score and limit results to 10 entries. You can edit any of these to suit your needs. We can test this again in Postman. 
and we get the response, but right now we only have one entry, so we can't clearly see sorting in action. Let's go back to post request and spam a bunch of entries. Let's request the leaderboard again now. And there we go, the entries are shown in descending order based on score. I have a simple Unity project set up. I'll create a new script to handle the leaderboard. We need to start by storing user scores. For this, we need to make a post request in Unity. Official docs are super helpful for this and we can simply copy and paste their coroutine and change the values. We would also need some sort of UI to test here. So let's add in some input fields, one for name and one for score, and then pass on the text from those in the JSON string. Next, we need to create a public function that can be called through another script or button click. And that function can then start this go routine. We go back to our project and set up a minimal UI so we can test this. We also need to create an empty game object that we can attach our leaderboard handler script to. And then we can call the post score function when the button is clicked. You can use MongoDB Compass at this stage to check the database entries. Download link should be in the description. So there was an issue with the JSON we were trying to send and we have fixed that now. This is what our code looks like. Let's go back to Unity and try again. This time the request went through and we can see that our database has updated correctly. Now we need to fetch the data for the leaderboard. We need to make a get request to our endpoint for that. Let's see how we can do that. I'm going to create a new UI panel and just a single button. Back in our script, I'm going to create a new function to get leaderboard and this function will start the get request coroutine. Most of the code for this is the same, except we don't send any body values here and in the else case, we want to debug log the data we receive from the request. Let's save this and go back. Now we can attach the get leaderboard function to the button and press play. Clicking on the button correctly shows the leaderboard entries. You can now parse this data through classes and show it in your game. MongoDB Atlas is free for starters and there are a bunch of services that allow you to host your code for free to try it out as well. Let us know if there's any topic you feel we missed here and would like us to talk about in the next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.